Hey YouTube, Funksy Jumper here. I got a project that's ongoing. I probably should have filmed this right from the beginning, but I thought, well, before I get too far involved, I'll uh, grab the camera and show you what's going on. I'm doing an aquaponics system. I got eight, eight of these grow beds. These are two by three, about eight inches deep. They're just uh, cement mixing tubs that you get up at Lowe's or Home Depot. This tubing is going to come from that blue barrel, which is going to be my fish tank. Um, water is going to be pumped. There's going to be a pump in the bottom of the fish tank, which will be sitting over here underneath that last bucket. It's going to come into this first tub. It's going to, as you can see, there's a little tad. It's going to come out of here. And then I got my pipes are cut. That's going to go in there like that. It's going to come out of there. Well, here. Here's what's doing. There, they're sitting just like this. It's going to come out of the fish tank. It's going to be, I'm going to have my line going down here and then back into this first tub. It's going to come out of this tub into this one into that one, into that one, and that last one are going to be, the last one down there is going to be connected with that long piece that's going to go from one side to the other. So I'll be able to walk in between these, but down there on the end is going to have a piece of pipe, so that'll close that end off. And it just, it just S turns its way back to each one and finally gets to this one. Well, hang on, hang on. I'm going to get to this last one, I'm going to have a standpipe right here, and then the pipe will be up so high, and once the water gets to the top of that pipe, it's just going to flow in that pipe and back into the fish tank. So the water will never get higher. All these tubs will be all connected. They'll never get higher than the top of that standpipe. And then that blue board over there is going to be my rafts, which I'm going to cut two inch holes in. And uh, that's going to float on top of the water. So, I mean, the way this is, I mean, you've, people have seen the aquaponics. The YouTube's full of them, a lot of good stuff. They got the ebb and flow systems, which, uh, you know, the fill and drain. I was going to do that, but I decided not to. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the fish, I'm going to go with uh, yellow perch and black crappie. I might throw a couple bluegill in here. Uh, fish, fish poop in the water. The water's got the fish poop in, goes into the plants. The roots grow down in, clean out all the nutrients, and by the time the water comes back, it's pretty much cleaned out. So the fish, the fish feed the plants, and the plants clean the water to go back into the fish. Uh, it's just a big, it's just a big. Uh, yeah, recycling, I guess, like my buddy D-Man says, it's recycling can be fun. And uh, this is my blue board. Like I said, that's going to go, that's going to cover all these. And uh, I got two inch, two inch pots. That are these things here. And they're going to, they're going to be sitting in the blue board there with a little bit of 50-50 uh, vermiculite and core, it's C-O-I-R, it's ground up coconut husks and stuff. So they'll be sitting there, the roots are going to grow down through here into the water, smaggity smack, bliggity black, uh, indoor feed. I had, uh, I had four fluorescent shop lights that a very good friend of mine gave me. And what I had to do, I don't know if I can, if you can see this, but this is, all the grow lamps have uh, reflective, you know, metal underneath. So I went and I got some uh, roof flashing, and I put that roof flashing underneath all the bulbs, and then I went and fired it up. Oh, and I had to, I had to wire it all in. And then I got in a in a GFI plug right now. I still got to touch up my wiring because I want to put everything on switches. 
fired it up and the bulbs didn't light. So come to find out, I had to get different ballasts. So I had to take everything back down. I had to take the flashing back off. I had to rewire all four of these with new ballasts, plug them in, bang, off they go to the races. That one back there on my workbench, that's some lavender that Sweetie Pie has growing. Um, but uh, So anyway, I had to get these on the cinder blocks. I had some pallets here, so none of this stuff cost me anything. And you can either pump it from the fish tank into the grow beds, or you can pump it from the grow beds into the fish tank. I'm going from the fish tank into the grow beds. So to get back into the fish tank, that last growing bed over there has to be above the fish tank. Capiche? So everything goes back in. So that's why everything's raised up the way it is. Plus this is just, just, well the pallets, the pallets are just about belt buckle high for me. So these are going to be, I want it to bend over and I mean the, the grow beds you can, you can take them up out of there and put them wherever you want. Trim your lettuce and bok choy. We're going to grow some kale and uh, put it back in. You can move them around. You can, it doesn't matter what sequence. You can put them anywhere you want. Because um, the water is going to be the same all throughout. Um, in the in the grow beds, I'm going to have prawns, like about two prawns for each grow bed, shrimps. Uh, and also inside here in the grow beds, there's going to be water. I'm going to have these little uh, these little mosquito fish, and they eat the larvae off the top of the water, so I won't have no mosquitoes. I mean that's that's mostly for an outside system, but. You know, skeeters get everywhere, so I want to have them in here too, and they can just go all over the place. And about every, about every three or four months, I'll pull out the blue, the blue craw, yeah, blah, the blue claw prawns, because once they get the blue claws, then they get territorial and they start whacking everybody. So uh, once they get to that point, then they get whacked. And about every three or four months, we'll just have a nice shrimp dinner out of it. Uh, this system is only a 48 square foot grow bed so uh, the fish are mostly going to be just feeding the plants um, yeah I'm going to get a fish here and there I mean every time one dies I'll replace it with uh, two smaller ones and uh, so I'll keep uh, I'll keep a little bit of a fish but it's not really geared up for to have so many pounds of fish per month I need to get a bigger system this is mainly for me and sweetie pie to learn how this operates and once we get this hammered down, because there's a lot to it, the water, man, the pH and the nitrates and the ammonia, uh, there's a lot to it. Once we get this hammered down and figured out, then we're going to go with a bigger system. I might even go commercial. Who knows? But uh, I'll keep you posted as things go. Uh, I just want to jump in here real quick and show you what's happening right now. I'm going to start gluing up some pipes and uh, get back with you. So, hey. Stay sharp.